Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the French F84G26RE, the new Thunderjet for the French released in this patch. And of course we already have two of these, although this is a different designation. The other two are 21s and this is a 26. But uh, there is not much difference in the performance or in the flight style for this plane. This is still a boom and zoomer slash boom and runner specifically. And um, well, it's a good plane, I have to say. 7.7 .7 battle rating still. And uh, let's see what she can do. The maximum speed in this plane is 964 kilometers an hour. At sea level, at 4500 meters, she can go up to 753 kilometers an hour. And at 6,500 meters, you can take her up to 664 kilometers an hour. Now those are pretty good speeds for maximum speeds in a straight line at those altitudes. It is a fast early jet, let's say, and with a 7.7 .7 battle rating, you'll see mostly 7.0 matches. Of course, it is possible to get 8.0 uh, planes in there as well, but uh, this plane can compete with those planes as well. As of yet, Gaijin has not introduced a viable 8.7 battle rating yet, so that is no problem. Maybe one day in the future they will go for that. Let's hope so. Top speed in a dive is 995 km an hour before it redlines and 1050 before it rips apart. Good speed in a dive, also good handling in a dive. There is very minute control stiffening at 650, but it's only very slight and it starts to really stiffen up a little more at 800 kilometers an hour it stays pretty good in the elevator control though and the roll rate does not compress that badly either so this plane is really maneuverable and the handling is great in a dive stall speed in the plane is 150 kilometers an hour which is quite nice firepower in the plane is good you have six 12.7 millimeter m3 browning machine guns or 50 cals with uh, 300 rounds per gun I used universal and stealth in these matches and both bells felt pretty good to me you can use either whichever you like best the uh, stealth of course is very nice for the surprise factor giving you a little bit more time on the target and the universal gives you more of an idea of where you are actually shooting uh, which can also be a benefit depending on how familiar you are with the plane let's say the plane also has a multitude of bomb and, and HVAR rocket options. Even Tiny Tims are possible and all kinds of combinations between the three, which is quite good. You can go ground pounding in this plane uh, and it is a good plane for that, but uh, it does limit the performance severely and I would suggest it is better used as a fighter or at least that's how I would use this plane. It can hold its own and really dictate matches, let's say. The ammo load on the plane is very good. Acceleration in a straight line is excellent. In a dive it's great. Energy retention in the horizontal is excellent as well. And in the vertical very good. This really is a very nicely performing plane as we <laughs> crash ourselves into the ground due to a uh, screen freeze, let's say. That was interesting. A uh, very good climb rate on the plane as well to support that vertical energy retention. It is pretty good thus as an energy fighter, and uh, but it is supreme as a boom and runner, let's say. It does have a good climb rate and the in good uh, behavior in the vertical, but uh, as a boom and runner and in more shallow climbs it holds its energy even better. And well, it is even more effective that way. So I would do that. It's a plane for the patient person. Uh, the turn time is uh, average. Uh, flaps do not bring it to uh, decent. The, uh, the flaps do rip off at 590 kilometers an hour, which is not great in a jet. It is quite early. You are often faster than that and you may rip them off. It's also very possible to rip this plane apart uh, in a dive before the red line speed because of the uh, wings. 
If you maneuver too much with this plane in the dive, then you can easily rip off a wing or two and it's definitely uh, not safe before the red line in that regard. Uh, <laughs> especially above 800 kilometers an hour, this can definitely happen. So be aware of that and when you are in the later stages of the dive, you should be careful with too many rolling maneuvers. Let's get that clear. So overall the roll rate is good and um, well with the average turn time the overall maneuverability I would call decent but it is in no way one of the best maneuverable planes in this uh, better rating and you are quite screwed actually if you start turning with this plane it's absolutely not good at it and most jets at this better rating turn better than this one. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't do it if I was you, not too often in any case. It is much better in a strict boom and zoom roll. Overheating in the plane is an issue. If you keep the 100% throttle activated at all times, then eventually you will overheat the plane and it will be in the amber and it will be difficult to cool down. If you control it before that time though, it is easily manageable and you should be able to keep the plane functioning very well in the overheating department. So it is manageable, but it is something to uh, keep in mind, let's say. Durability in the plane is average. The fuselage and the wings do not respond very well to damage, and especially the wings are vulnerable, I would say. Uh, again, two kills in the matches, almost got three with that assist, but uh, I got a few matches where I almost got three kills, but without the air spawn that the uh, F-84Gs used to have, this plane really has uh, found its, uh, its place, let's say. I think it's perfectly fine at a 7.7 .7 battle rating. And um, yeah, it does, it does very well there. But it is not overpowered and it is definitely without the air spawn that it used to have. It's a plane that is just a good plane, and, but not stellar not overpowered in my opinion i like the boom and zoom roll for myself and the boom and running it, it creates a a nice playstyle relaxed playstyle that needs some patience and it needs some discipline because when you miss a uh, a shot you don't want to turn unless you are absolutely sure you can make some maneuvers like here nobody else around let's say and uh, no danger for you to uh, do some shenanigans but you always have to quickly remind yourself that you gotta pick up some speed and get out of the engagement for example with that ME262 I left him for what he was and I decided to fly on to somebody else because I didn't want to stay engaged in a uh, in a dogfight in this plane you will lose speed and eventually this plane there we go our fire got stolen by this Mandillo guy <laughs> bloody hell I talked to him about it later after a while he didn't have anything to say but bah <laughs> which was quite funny anyway uh, we almost got jumped there by this uh, ME163 which is a plane I have to fly out one of these days as well I've been thinking about uh, making a video about that plane for quite a while it's been on my to-do list for a long time just like the uh, Kai 200 also a plane I need to look at and will in, in the near future, let's hope. So this guy had a nice duel with this guy, trying to get him. Always got to be careful with these things, I'm trying to extend a little bit here. If my ally comes in there, Mandillo, he's back. <laughs> let's hope he doesn't steal another fire. Yeah, there he's going up, and we are going to turn in pretty soon. Yep, let's go. There we did move in. We came close, he went into the vertical, and now we're trying to get a shot. We only have limited ammo though. And we don't get the snipe shot that I was looking for, unfortunately. Very nice plane to land, no problem, uh, as long as you have functional flaps, let's say. It is an uh, aerodynamic plane with a good um, energy retention. 
but uh, if you control the plane you'll be fine getting a, a landing in let's see we got a lot of rewards on one of these matches we've got final blow anti-mech terror of the sky bulletproof and on hand 30,000 self lions and almost 3,000 research points and one of these project x chests very nice i'll see you in the conclusion hey guys so here we are after the match this plane is is very nice i have to say i, I always love these f84gs they were a problem uh, once when they were low beta rating of course that has been changed i don't see any problems with these planes right now with uh, without the air spawns they are doing pretty well and it's nice to see french with a, a french version of the plane in game now but uh, there are already three versions of this plane now an italian an american and a french plane and i think that's quite enough i mean uh, some planes gotta stay a little bit unique in my eyes and uh, if they get shared around too much then uh, yeah <laughs> they shouldn't go too far to have this thing in four or five nations let's say that would be ridiculous anyway the French version is, as you may expect, it's the same as the other ones. It's a good plane, it's a versatile plane with ground attacking options, with a good fighter um, ability in the boom and zoom and boom and run roll. You can do a lot of damage to the enemy team in this plane, and this plane can be a real killer. The German teams have been quite good lately, but uh, still, this plane can wreak havoc in the enemy team. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.